Hey guys, Mistmaster1 here, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix HD Proud Level 1. Last time, we went over a couple bonus videos, and the last one in particular was the infinite roll glitch where we can dodge roll and interact with an object at the same time, and get some pretty hilarious results as, uh, you know, from doing that. And in this episode, this will be the final episode before we go through this door and actually finish the game off once and for all. But there's one final thing to cover in this game before we actually settle the score. I'm gonna go to my journal really quick, and I've been beating around the bush of this thing for a while now throughout this entire project, and how I would say I would cover Ansem's report once we have collected every single one of them, and now we have every single report 1 through 13, and now I will have a dramatic reading <laughs> of each particular report, and this is gonna give us some insight to the whole, you know, why things are the way they are and stuff like that, so these are pretty vital pieces of information for understanding not just what's happened in this game, but beforehand and stuff like that, so uh, let's dive in. Anthem's Report 1. Much of my life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. That knowledge has guarded this world well, not a soul doubts that. I am blessed with my people's smiles and respect. But though I am called a sage, there are things I do not understand. I believe darkness sleeps in every heart, no matter how pure. Given the chance, the smallest drop can spread and swallow the heart. I have witnessed it many times. Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> no, darkness of the heart. How is it born? How has it come to affect us so? As ruler of this world, I must find the answers. I must find them before the world is lost to those taken by the darkness. Huh. I know it's only the first entry, but that seems a bit weird. He kind of comes off as actually a good guy, not this evil person that he appears to be in this game, but uh, let's keep reading. Ansem's Report 2. It is my duty to expose what this darkness really is. I shall conduct the following experiments. Experiments? Extract the darkness from a person's heart. Ooh. Cultivate darkness in a pure heart. Both suppress and amplify the darkness within. The experiments cause the test subject's hearts to collapse, including those of the most stalwart. How fragile our hearts are. My treatments produce no signs of recovery. I can find those who had completely lost their hearts beneath the- Ooh, that's okay, never mind, I take that back, what I said before. Some time later. I went below and was greeted by the strangest sight. Creatures that seemed born of darkness. What are they? Are they truly sentient beings? Could they be the shadows of those who lost their hearts in my experiments? Okay, now we're only at the second report and things are looking pretty dark. So, no pun intended, but you know what I mean. Uh, Anson's report three, let's keep going. The shadows that crawl beneath the castle, are they the people who lost their hearts? Or incarnations of darkness? Or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of test samples. They are multiplying underground even as I write this report. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I will call them the Heartless. Well, there you go. Now we know why they're called the Heartless. Ansem's Report 4. The Heartless appear in groups and are multiplying rapidly. I provided them both living and non-living samples. That's kind of messed up. They've responded only to the living. They seem to multiply after absorbing something from the living creatures. Their prey vanishes without a trace. I believe the Heartless are taking hearts. They are born from those who've lost their hearts and thrive on hearts seized from others. The hearts taken by the Heartless become Heartless themselves. Though I lack proof, I am confident in this hypothesis. I must also study their behavioral principles. Though they lack emotions, they do seem to have some intelligence. How to communicate with them? It just occurred to me. Could they be the darkness in people's hearts? <laughs> Ansem's Report 5 To study heartless behavior, I picked one out for observation. It wiggled, its antenna, and, 
as if sensing a target, headed deep into the castle. Antenna and stuff like that? He, we can assume from this, based off how this game has gone out, that he is referring to a Shadow Heartless in this report. In the deepest part of the castle, its antenna began vibrating, as if searching for something. Suddenly, a strange door appeared. I would never known of its existence. It had a large keyhole, but didn't seem to be locked. So I opened the door. What I saw on the other side mystified me. Hey! What was that powerful mass of energy? That night, I observed a great meteor shower in the sky. Huh. Could it be related to the door that I have opened? Granted, we don't even know where this, like, this supposed world he's in where he's doing this report even takes place. Because, I mean, we've been able to cross in a multitude of worlds across this game. So who knows where he is while he's conducting these things. Like a castle. Castle kind of sounds like Hall of Bastion, but... Huh. Ansem's Report 6. A massive core of energy lay beyond the door sought by the Heartless. It may well be the ultimate goal of all Heartless. But what is that energy? I have devised a hypothesis based upon my observations of the Heartless. The Heartless feed on others' hearts, and they yearn for that energy core. That thing beyond the door must be a heart too, the heart of this world. There is no proof, but having felt that immense energy, I am certain that was the heart of the world. The Heartless are trying to take hearts, not only from all living creatures, but from the world itself. But what do they mean to do with the heart of the world? Ansem's Report 7 I am now studying material from the meteors that rained down that fateful night. What a find. Why does a meteor shower sound so familiar? Like, why does that sound so familiar? The material is foreign to our world, is elastic to the touch. And when two pieces are combined, they- Whoa, they bond easily. Huh, how about that? None of the records I've secured even mention such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when I opened that door? I wonder how many other such materials drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. I wish I could soar off and find out. Could there be uncharted worlds up there? My curiosity never ceases to grow. But I should stop speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all but prisoners of this tiny place. Ansem's Report 8 There is no doubt that the Heartless are deeply connected to people's hearts. Further study may unravel both their motivations and the mysteries shrouding the heart. As a start, I have built a device that artificially creates Heartless. Oh god. By recreating the conditions that spawn the Heartless naturally, I should be able to produce them artificially. This device is the culmination of all my research thus far. The machine's test run successfully created a Heartless. This may be a step towards creating a heart from nothing. The artificially and naturally created Heartless showed nearly identical traits, but the two types should remain distinct for the purpose of this experiment. So I will mark the ones that are I will mark the ones that are created artificially. So this guy went out to create more of these things by himself, not just through natural causes of whatever spawned them in the first place, but well I mean obviously like the whole thing that was going on with the test subjects and stuff was what was starting to spawn these things, but what is going on around here? Like why would you decide to just Hey, I mean, I understand you're maybe trying to find a way to reverse the whole process and stop it, but that's really dangerous. You can kind of see why things got out of hand. Ansem's Report 9. Simply astonishing. Today I had a guest from another world. He's a king, and his vessel is built of the material that composed the meteors. He called the, pe he called the pieces gummy blocks. It seems that my opening that door has opened a path to inner world travel. We talked for countless hours, but one story in particular caught my interest. That of a key called the Keyblade. The Keyblade is said to hold phenomenal power. One legend says its wielder saved the world, while another says that he wrought chaos and ruin upon it. I must know what this Keyblade is. A key opens doors. 
and must be connected to that door I have opened. Okay, well, things are starting to make more sense now. That whole king, you can assume that too. That is uh, King Nicky, so... Nicky has met Ansem, but... <laughs> there's, there's so many things that don't make sense. You would have to play a lot of the later KH games for this to all make sense, but... It's a good teaser. Ansem's Report 10. Just as people have hearts, so do the worlds. The same can be said of the stars and the night sky. And deep within, each world lies a door to its heart. The heartless desire those hearts. Born out of the darkness in people's hearts, they seek to return to a greater heart. Yes, that's it. The heartless come from people's hearts, as does the darkness. Is the core of the world's heart the world of the heartless? I will pursue the answer there and become all-knowing. My path is set. I shall seek out the wielder of the Keyblade and the princesses. Oh, so he knows about the princesses already. Like, who knows when this was actually written, but... Hey, my body is too frail for such a journey, but I must do this. I will cast it off and plunge into the depths of darkness. What? Is this how he came to be? Like, this being of darkness? Like, because, I mean, he obviously exists, like... Ex he gives off pure darkness whenever we saw him that one time. It may not have been really pronounced, but this was the guy that took a hold of Riku, basically, and we saw the power of darkness that he held when we fought our possessed friend, and it was pretty mighty, so it's pretty scary to think about. Ansem's Report 11. Opening the door to a world's heart causes its walls to crumble. These fragments are seen as shooting stars. This explains why these gummy blocks can travel freely to other worlds. I know the catalyst of this collapse, the appearance of the Heartless. However, it will take time to search out the world's doors and retrieve each heart. Furthermore, the doors can be locked by using a keyblade, making the heart forever unattainable. I must take action before the wielder of this key appears in this world. If the princesses and the keyblade are connected, they should resonate. I've chosen a girl. I don't know if she holds the princess's powers, but I will find out. She may lead me to the key bearer. I shall set her free and observe. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. So this goes all the way back to Kairi getting chosen and her heart obviously falling to darkness, but Sora taking her heart and we freed the whole thing when we released our heart with Riku, or like the special keyblade that was crafted from the hearts of the princesses, and that goes back to that whole possessed Riku fight we had in Hall of Ashen as well, so that's pretty, that's uh, yeah, that's pretty eye-opening actually. Ansem's Report 12. The body is gone. The heart should have returned to the heartless, and yet nothing. This is, I believe, also from observing Kairi, because as we saw, her heart was taken, but her body didn't disappear. She was just an empty shell. This one is unlike any other. Its memories remain, and it has yet to take the form of a heartless. A close eye must be kept on this situation. Much is still unknown. Oh. Keeps his memory as well. I can't really prove that, because Kairi didn't, was kind of like dead inside, and she didn't Okay, maybe that's not quite what it's referring to. You'd think so after that first little uh, thing there, but that doesn't quite add up now. To get to the realm of darkness, one must go through the doors of Kingdom Hearts, the place where the world's hearts connect. Beyond this world is a place in which darkness reigns. Details shall be archived in a separate report. There are many worlds in existence, some of which we know nothing about. The world in which we live the realm of darkness, the realm of light, and the world in between, wherein lies true nirvana. So we've discovered this guy who has come up with the name of the Heartless by conducting various experiments. He has set his sights on testing a girl as mentioned in, where is it, I think, what was it, Anson's Report 11? I forget, we just read it. Yeah, this one right here. I've chosen a girl, I don't know if she holds the princess's powers, but yeah. 
That's pretty messed up, man. He of his intentions and just seeking out the power of the Keyblade, and we happen to be the one in control of the Keyblade. And we also have discovered that in Legend, we are not the first one to have obtained said thing, and that it's actually been a thing for generations, years upon years, so who knows what's happened in, you know, the last few decades in particular. We have one final report, Ansem's Report 13. This is quite possibly one of the most, like, oh man, reports out here, because it actually alludes to stuff you will see in future Kingdom Hearts games. Ansem's Report 13. Where does the body go when it separates from the heart? If the soul remains within the body, is it still considered to be deceased? When the heart returns to the heartless, the physical form disappears. But that is merely true in this world. Perhaps the body exists in another form, in another world. If that is the case, then it is possible for one to exist in two worlds. A being that is neither darkness nor light, belonging nowhere, Abandoned by its heart. A mere shell of its former self. The relation between the heart and body is complex. However, I am certain that if your self exists here, then by definition, the other cannot truly exist. The other, the one which does not exist, shall be dubbed nobody. Oh, man. If you have played any other KH games, practically, you will be probably jaw-dropped at seeing that. A lot of people do not know that the term nobody is actually mentioned within the first Kingdom Hearts game. Albeit this is a final mix report, so technically we didn't even know this was a thing until it came out in 1.5 a few years ago. But the fact that the term nobody is actually mentioned is pretty amazing because that term is very dominant, especially in Kingdom Hearts 2, and it actually starts to become dominant in the game after this, which is re-chain of memories, or just chain of memories. So yeah. That is the entirety of Ansem's report, and if you realize it also mentioned the term, what, a mere shell? Yeah, a mere shell of its former self. You guys remember when we fought that one guy, like, just a couple episodes ago, uh, Mr... Where is he? Mr. Question Mark Man, over here. Do you know you can press the triangle button to actually view him and stuff like that? And that's pretty cool, I actually almost forgot to show that, and you can apply that to pretty much any other character in the game. But yeah, mysterious figure who appeared in Hall of Bastion. This guy is, by definition, if you put the pieces together, would be considered a nobody. But we still don't really know what that means. He's someone who is a mere shell, one who does not exist somewhere, but exists somewhere else. Very, very deep part of the story, and the game is very complex in its story. I'm not obviously going to go on a giant lecture as to how the story is in this game, because honestly it is to the point, by this point, by a lot of people as being really over the top and silly. But for what it is, before you actually find out, you know, all the really silly things they ended up going with, but just the normal story between this game and Kingdom Hearts 2, pretty amazing to actually see how much they knew ahead of time before they were actually going to make the next few games, so... Yeah. That, that's gonna pretty much do it. We have covered Ansem's report, we have done everything in the journal, we have synthesized every recipe, we have done every gummy ship thing, I have shown off every single thing in the entire game aside from the Hades Cup time trial, which is not doable at level 1, so if it ever gets proven possible to do so, I will come back at a later point and attempt it for one bonus video. But besides that guys, we have finished every single thing in this game. The only thing that's left is to go past this door right here. Huh? What's wrong? Don't you hear something? There. Careful. This is the last haven you'll find here. Beyond, there is no light to protect you. But don't be afraid. Your heart is the mightiest weapon of all. Remember, you are the one who will open the door to the light. I don't hear anything. Strange. That voice was so familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. Maybe you'd better take a rest. And when we examine this door one last time, it will bring us to our final destination of the entire game. There, This is the point of no return once you go through this door, so we're gonna save that till next time. So guys, I've been Mistmaster1, thank you for watching. This has been episode 58 of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix HD Pro Level 1. And in the next episode, it goes down. We face off against Ansem. Ansem lies beyond this door right here. 
on the finale of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix HD Pro Level 1. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I will see you guys in the final episode of this project the day after this gets posted. It's a few, I have a few days in advance in terms of recording this, but uh, as things are looking now, this game will be finished by tomorrow when you see this video or whenever this goes up, so that's going to be pretty amazing. I'll see you guys for the final confrontation against Ansem next time. See you then.